Hi, my name is Dr. Kerry D'Ambrosio and I'm the founder of the D'Ambrosio Institute. My background as a practitioner comes from over 30 years of clinical experience as an athletic therapist, a physical therapist, a doctor of oriental medicine, an osteopath trained in both Canada and England, and also body talk. Body talk is an energy medicine. It deals with communication, it deals with thoughts, beliefs, emotions, and consciousness. I've been with Body Talk since 2000, and I'm an advanced and also a senior Body Talk practitioner, as well as an instructor. The purpose of this video is to introduce to you a class called Energetic Balancing, and also how it's going to help you in your practice. I've been developing energetic balancing for the past 10 years and have used it successfully on thousands of patients. I've uploaded several of these energetic balancing sessions to the DAI YouTube channel. That's the D'Ambrosio Institute. So check it out. You're going to see lots of um, examples of me doing energetic balancing. You'll see me performing these um, uh, energetic balancing sessions, taking these energetic holograms of the body. And they're all based on quantum principles. Now, when you take a look at these videos, you're going to see that all my treatments are validated by objective evaluation. We evaluate before and after the session, not only by me, but also other practitioners present. Now, to help you understand this approach, I'm going to explain a few concepts in quantum mechanics. First of all, the human body is composed of four types of tissues. We have epithelial tissue, that's sort of your skin. It's the lining of your blood vessels. It forms the lining of your cavities. We have muscle tissue, cardiac, smooth, and also skeletal. We have, excuse me, nervous tissue. Okay, we have neurons, glial cells, and connective tissue. You're all familiar with fascia. If you take any one of these tissues, and put it under a microscope, you're gonna see cells of those tissues. Now obviously muscle and nerve cells are different, but they have common characteristics. They'll have a nucleus, a mitochondria, a ribosome, endoplasmic reticulum. These are called organelles. If you place an organelle under a microscope and you magnify it, you're gonna see molecules. What's a molecule? A molecule is created when two or more atoms form a chemical bond, like H2O. So when you put an atom underneath a microscope, and again you magnify it, they're composed of subatomic energy particles, such as a nucleus. That's made of protons and neutrons. Electrons, they circle the nucleus in a subatomic energy cloud. What's interesting is they say that if you magnify the nucleus of an atom to the size of a peanut, the atom would be the size of a baseball stadium. So although atoms appear to be full of empty space, due to quantum principles of superposition, there are no empty spaces in an atom. A good example is if you take an electric fan, and make sure it's a huff, you can put your hands in between the blades, there's lots of empty space, but as soon as you turn that fan on, there are no empty space. So what happens is the volume of the atom that we're talking about is filled by wave function of orbiting electrons. Now, when energy is in wave form, they have no fixed position and therefore represents an infinite number of potentials. When energy is in particle form, it's a manifestation of one of those potentials. So when we evaluate someone, they are in particle form. That's one potential. But when we take out these energy holograms and begin to observe, we then get into waveform and then we have other potentials we can observe. Now, atoms are the basic building blocks of matter. Matter is a property of all physical objects. It takes the form of discrete vibrating particles. It occupies space, so it has volume, it has mass, therefore weight. We have solid matter, we have liquid matter, we have gas matter. And this means that all observable matter, rocks, trees, objects, even people, are simply energy stored in a solid matter form. This also means that all psychological processes, your thoughts, beliefs, emotions, and consciousness are also energy. Therefore, matter is the physical expression of energy vibrating at a low frequency perceived by our five senses. In these energy balancing classes, we're going to be working with the musculoskeletal, the visceral, the neurovascular, lymphatic, and energy systems of the body along with the psychological processes, thoughts, beliefs, emotions, and consciousness. The first class is called Energy Balancing Musculoskeletal. It's typically a four-day live class, but now we're offering an online four six-hour segments.
In this class, you're going to be giving a comprehensive study guide. You'll also be given a treatment application chart with five phase process. It makes it very simple to do this technique. You're going to be able to uh, work with energy balancing off the body and with these holograms. We're going to work with uh, fascia. Uh, muscles, bones, joints, sutures, the meninges of the cranial sacral system, and also the foreign objects. We're going to use quantum mechanical theories such as superposition, uh, quantum entanglement, non-locality, wave particle theory. You're going to learn to perform these energy balancing holographic treatments in person, but we're also going to show you how you can do it at a distance. So because we're teaching it online, you're going to be treating people, you know, they could be in other cities, other countries, over the computer. And again, you're going to verify this with evaluation. This curriculum continues with uh, energy balancing mind-body as well as energy balancing total body. For more information about our uh, energy balancing series, go to the website. Uh, dambrosioinstitute.com or you can email me at kerryjdam at gmail.com so k-e-r-r-y j as in joseph d-a-m at gmail.com so hope to see you at a class